I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about it on stage, uh, and then I needed new material, and I was like, fire sale, everything goes. <laughs> no, truthfully, I was surprised that I felt so bad about it, because I think I'm pretty open-minded, and I, I don't think anybody should feel bad if they get diagnosed with a mental illness, because it's just information about you that helps you know how to take better care of yourself. Yeah. Being bipolar, there's nothing wrong with it. Being bipolar is like not knowing how to swim. It might be embarrassing to tell people, and it might be hard to take you certain places. <laughs> but they have arm floaties. <laughs> and if you just take your arm floaties, you can go wherever the hell you want. And I know some of you are like, but Taylor, what if people judge me for taking arm floaties? Well, those people don't care if you live or die. So maybe who cares? <laughs> maybe fuck those people a little. I don't know. That being said, you have to take your arm floaties. <laughs> because it's not cool to know you can't swim, go to the public pool anyway, and jump into the deep end, making it everyone else's problem. <laughs> and you're thrashing around going, I'm good, I'm good. They're like, you're literally drowning. <laughs> and then someone nice and handsome jumps in to help you. And you're like, see, I'm fine. I can totally swim. And they're like, no, you're holding him underwater. <laughs> you turned Kevin into an arm floaty. <laughs> and that's not a fair relationship for Kevin. <laughs> then someone floats by you on their back and you're like, what was that? And they're like, oh, that's someone whose parents supported them in the pool. <laughs> until they could be trusted not to die. <laughs> Here are your arm floaties.